This right here is our latest acquisition. This house here is on the front of the property. The house in front of me is on the back. And this one's getting a roof. The crew should be showing up here in about 30, 45 minutes. We got the roof done. Then we got all of this. All right, this is the back house. We got the roof on two weeks ago. The water's the same on the front house and the back house. Separate power meters. Um, this one's a two bedroom, one bath. We had a bunch of sheetrock damage, had some roof repairs, the tree fell on, and so we're making this one beautiful again. And this room right here had a bunch of um, paneling on the walls. We put quarter inch sheetrock up. We put two recessed lights right here, call it spread and mud. Um, this is one of the bedrooms right here. And we're gonna be taking out that kitchen sink today. If you notice, that's actually an old steel cabinet and it's rotted out on the bottom of it. Um, I think what we're gonna end up doing is, if you notice, that galvanized pipe is running through the ceiling. So we're actually gonna go ahead and replumb it while I got it open and everything, might as well do it. Go back with PEX pipe. And uh, so I don't have to mess with it for another 15, 20 years. And Cute little bathroom. We added the uh, exhaust fan. That's something I do with all my rentals. As soon as they're vacant or become vacant, we go ahead and put uh, exhaust fans. Humidity is so bad in this state that, and for some reason, people don't want to run the exhaust fan, so I always use direct wire. Um, this bedroom's already been painted, and I'm gonna buy a bunch of blinds today. We'll be putting those up. Um, It'll come together. It'll be nice. Notice that line right there. That'll tell you how far this thing is sloped, so to speak. Now, when the water does hit here, it does run in there, but, you know, it's uh, a little bit on the rough side. All right, we got this out. And as you can see back there, we're gonna have access to everything. And so we're gonna go ahead and uh, make this happen and uh, we're gonna get those uh, replaced. The cheesiest person right here, she got all this mud and done and everything. She's just killing it with the pan and the six inch knife. That's one thing about sheet rockers. When you sit there and they say, oh man, I can finish. I always ask them, tell me about your knives. And if they ever say, what do you mean? I just say next. Then the other thing is, is I ask them, I say, well, what do you use mostly when you're doing your first or second coat? And if they're not saying the six inch, I know they sloppy, sloppy, no good. But this room's coming along. We'll have four different lights, one in each corner, basically. The roofer has arrived. Look at that right rear tire. That axle is bent. They have had that thing overloaded. It's even more pronounced right there. And those are I think those are eight or 10,000 pound axles on that. That should be about an 18,000 pound trailer right there. So we're gonna get this thing done up so we can get some cash flow because it's all been going out. Ain't none been coming in. And you know, Redneck Robert, I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but I do know that if you got more going out than you got coming in, you got a problem. See, we gotta fix that problem. So they use a little spray foam to kind of tidy things up and everything and uh, we're going to get in there and see what all we got. And then we're going to run some new piping. And look at all that caulk right there. Yeah, they sealed that thing up pretty good, said no one ever. So we got some kind of water leak right there. We're going to have to figure that one out, see what the deal is. Okay, Carla's back at the rental house doing some work I'm over here I got to pick up a uh, dump trailer on location and uh, you know I mean the hustle never ends it's a boom Let's see what we got here my first thing is is I'm gonna inspect all the driveway as far as for nails and stuff like that make sure we're good and come over here we'll have to move that planter out of the way and uh, let's take a look at this bad boy
Yep. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everything's well. If you uh, don't know me, my name is Robert Biggerstaff. I'm all about some financial independence. Hey, everybody, my name's Robert, and I'm all about some financial independence. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and you are finding out who's got your money and uh, making sure that it goes from their wallet, pocket, purse, briefcase, wherever it is, into your pocket, because that's the name of the game. Money will buy you happiness. But what it will do is buy you freedom. Success is, in my opinion, being able to do what you want, when you want, and with who you want. I hope you have a great day. All right. Now we got a uh, book in for a dump trailer. Got to get it on location this evening. This one's going to be interesting. The roofer told me that the customer says they don't want a trailer on the driveway. They want me to back it up right in front of the living room. Problem with that is it's 38 squares. That's close to about 10 to 11,000 pounds in shingles. And uh, don't know if we're gonna be able to pull that away. And then the other thing is it's gonna leave big ruts in their yard. So we're just gonna have to customer when I get there and uh, see if we can figure out a happy medium or something of that nature. And uh, because that's like disaster waiting to happen. So, but. It's a good day, getting a lot accomplished, making things, got a roof getting put on the uh, other house of that latest rental property that I got that's got the two units. So life is good, progress is getting made. Have a wonderful day. All right, so we're rolling back. They're putting the house, the roof on the front house and we're gonna check on progress and everything. Um, we're probably gonna be waiting about two hours before we go and uh, take this trailer and try to put it on location. Maybe they're done with the house. We'll grab my trailer, take it to the house, drop it. And uh, so we'll just have to see. Right, we're walking up to the house. We'll uh, check out what they got going on, see how the roof is coming along. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. It's gonna look a whole lot better. Well, we got the hot and the cold coming in. That'll feed all of the bathtub, kitchen sink, bathroom sink. We got them fished into the hot water closet. Probably gonna go ahead and get another hot water heater. It's only 400. That one's about 20 years old. We got the supply line coming in from outside. We'll get that all spliced in. Then, unfortunately, it just is not allowing access, but we're, uh, it's hard to see. Got that pipe coming down in the uh, closet right there. That's going to be the supply line for the commode going through that wall right there. So it is what it is. Whatever. It will be good enough for somebody to uh, have a home here and uh, make some things happen for themselves. So we're looking forward to it. Sometimes you really got to ask yourself, does it make sense for us just to do a total rebuild? Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, this one, not really because it was a um garage to start with and then my exit strategy on all my properties to always ask if i have to sell it in a hurry you know what do i need and basically you need the big ones you know the ac to work and the um it to have a decent roof on it and everything like that um i'm not sure what this property would appraise for i'll probably get somebody to see about an idea um you know, if it comes in over a hundred thousand, then I might be able to get it refinanced at a better rate, and um, and be able to do some cash out on it and everything, and that would be awful cool, because um, we're going to be into it for probably real close to about twenty thousand dollars, and uh, between the two roofs and the uh, extra work that we've done on it and everything like that. So, um, but between both properties, when they're rented, it'll be um, sixteen hundred a month coming in. So not bad, and. Uh, it helps me get closer to the long-term goal. The guys are killing it. There you have it. Those guys are killing it. They're getting the roof done. It gives me peace of mind. It's getting done right. You know, that's one of the problems that you always run into with a lot of times with um, 
rental properties is the people that have been fixing it they're just doing enough for it to scrape by and then you know those repairs don't work out last and then you actually end up having more problems and for a longer situation kind of like the roof on that so we'll just have to see but we'll know that the uh the roof is done right and uh front house new roof it's got a new water heater the back house new roof um new plumbing and it'll end up having a new water heater as well some extra lights new sheetrock it'll be looking nice once we get done with it it'll make a good home for someone All right, we're pulling in the yard right here that's my u-dump trailer right there i got these two others right here my big uh both my iron bulls that one right there on the end that's the one we're going to take that one's pretty good size it's going to fit 38 square in there without any problem uh, we're gonna have to move back i let a guy rent this trailer and he took it away himself and uh he's a good friend been a great customer as well and uh so it's um and normally i don't do that i'm the one that's dropping them on location and like that but i'm just going around kicking the tires make sure we ain't got no flats or anything like that and we're gonna get hooked up go home shower let the dogs out and then we're gonna find out who's got my money to get a little late i left my coupler on and i left this open definitely need to close that up and we're gonna get our coupler and get it removed boom there you have it now you don't all you're doing is slowing down an honest man definitely don't like that we can move that coupling down and uh raise it up we could also raise that hitch up some as well All right, we're headed home we're gonna let the dogs out take a shower and everything so we're gonna go ahead and get this video loaded up get it coming your way and everything like that but that's basically it um trying to figure out dump trailer day was about five hundred dollars and uh you know not too bad so um we did have a put a bid on a big job hauling 28 yards of concrete probably be about six to ten trips somewhere in there bid it at 1200 we'll see if it comes in be really nice if we can make that happen all in one day hello be some good cheese right there so you never know but we're gonna go ahead and make this happen and uh it uh hopefully i'll be in bed by 9 p.m